kid and welcome to kid time story time <laughs> hey random rooster <laughs> you're just in time we're going to read this brand new book i just got in the mail called wild wild weasel <laughs> oh I, I wasn't expecting that reaction oh hey olivia oh hello hello everyone oh what a lovely day to oh i'm afraid i can't stay oh, well i I don't know what is happening with, with the weasel book. Oh, hey, Green Bear. Oh, hey, everybody. What's up? Green Bear, I'm reading a brand new book. And it's about a weasel. Can you tell me what, what the problem is? Don't you know? Weasels are big trouble in the animal kingdom. Big troublemakers. And for me to say that, that's kind of a big deal. Oh, he makes a good point. I mean, it makes me a little bit worried, but I mean, it looks like a super fun book called Wild Wild Weasel. <laughs> oh, a white rat. Hey, hey, sorry, Taylor. Hey, kids, what's up? Um, are you, um, uh, you're a pretty brave guy. I sure am. I'm one of the bravest in the kingdom, I would say, even bigger and braver than lions. Well, you, you have a big ego also. Yeah, yeah, I've been, heard, I've been hearing that lately. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to know, um, you're a brave guy. I mean, you're not afraid of weasels, are you? Oh, uh... Well, let's just say I wouldn't uh, go purposely looking for them. Uh, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, well, I guess maybe there's a reason why it's called Wild Wild Weasel. Well, let's find out. Oh, weasels, I can't wait. Oh, okay. Normally I'd be really excited that Maleficent is excited about a book, but now I'm just frankly nervous. Ooh, I get Wild Wild Weasel stickers. And oh, Once Upon a Weasel bookmark. Okay, Once Upon a Weasel was the first book, apparently. And Wild Wild Weasel, which we are reading, is the second one. So, I mean, he must be popular. He has two books. Let's find out. I loved my pet weasel. He was fearless and foolish and fun. We had wild adventures together. He was my best friend. Okay, so here's the kid in the book. There's his weasel. Oh my goodness. Weasel looks adorable, doesn't he? With his little red furry hair and the big grin on his face. He looks so excited to be flying through space. But, oh, here comes the but. But to mom and pop, he was just a wild animal. Oh, well, let's see. He's, oh, I see. This is a spaceship. See? Power of the imagination. And see, we've got overturned purses. We have a bit of a toilet roll situation. There's a pot, a pan, like a cast iron pan here. And we have a shoe on the bed. That's a big no-no. And we have a hat, which is fine. We are not alone. Ooh. And there's, there's Weasel hanging on to Saturn. Okay. Mom and Dad think he's a, just a wild animal. Well, well, let's just see. Let's just see. Rules. Oh, the weasel has rules. Oh, just like a, a person. Rules. Weasel stays in the bedroom. Number two. Weasel stays in his cage when you are gone. Rule number three. No playing with the weasel until homework is done. Look how sad and forlorn our kid looks over here. Like saying, bye. Bye, weasel. And weasel's like, <laughs> I'll miss you. They just didn't understand him. Well, we're at school now, and at school the teacher, hey teacher, gave us a tough assignment. Write about something you've learned in a book. Oh, oh, that's our specialty around here now, isn't it? And there's our kid right here, and he's drawing something, doodling, I would say. But I hope he's thinking about the assignment, because that's what we're in school for. Not to doodle, to write and think and learn. What would I write about? I was stumped. I couldn't stop thinking about my lonely weasel stuck in a cage because he wasn't trained and obedient like a dog. Now so he's drawing a lot of weasel drawings, I believe, here. And look at that. He's even skipping out on baseball practice just to think about weasel and draw weasel. He really loves weasel. Weasel can't be that bad, right? And then, Eureka! Cocoing. I would train the weasel to obey me and I would find a book to show me how. Ah, he's combining assignment with his own personal mission to make it all work. Wow, that Eureka came like a baseball to the head. Ouch. Wait, I know. That's a tennis ball, right? <laughs> you can tell Storyteller is not a sporty person. But, huh, 
there was no book for me at the library. Let's see, he's under the zoology sections. We got we got wallaby behavior, wallab behavior, warb, warbler, and warblist, the art of warthog, beauty, and the wildebeest, jump, jive, and whale. What would a woodchuck? Oh, that's a good one. Wombat, not combat. Oh, yes, a very peaceful Zen book. When, why, the W. Oof, it's complicated. And Got Worms? Oof, you don't want to have to read that book. Well, everyone knows you can't train a weasel, the librarian said. <laughs> but, but, but she did not know my weasel. I knew he could be trained, and I was going to prove it. How? Well, let's find out. After all, he was a very talented little fellow. Look at that. He, he could shoot him up like a, like a sheriff. He could, he could rappel mountains. He can karate chop. He's an Olympic contender. He's a scuba diver. He is a world-renowned chef and skier. I just had to make other people see it too. See how talented the little guy is. Well, it was time for the weasel to go to school just like me. After all, that's where we learn things. But which school? Mutt Asori? The Driscoll Academy for Gifted Pets, before and after? Or a discount at Chick's House of TV and Pet Training? Free diploma with every purchase. Huh. I feel like maybe this is not legitimate, but it's cheap enough that maybe that's who he'll choose? Maybe this place would do. Do-it-yourself pet training. It was a zoo in there. Could all these animals be trained? First, give me your money, the instructor explained. Then I show you how to get your animal to sit, roll over, and stay. If your pet can do all three, you get a diploma. Well, I gave him my money. Wow, you're going to get this iguana to do that, and a snake, and the pig. And, oh, there, there's our kid. There's our kid with his little weasel. And there's a dog, and there's another dog, and a butterfly. Butterfly's gonna roll over? That should be interesting. The first lesson was to get the weasel to sit. That was not a problem. With a little help from me. Um, oh, you see what's happening here? Weasel is already not cooperating. Little cheating going on. Well, let's just not call it cheating. Let's call it he's encouraging the behavior. Next! was to get Weasel to roll over. Piece of cake! In fact, the Weasel was the first in class to do it. Look at that, drain, drain, drain. Ooh, look at that. The rabbit's impressed and so is the fish. Uh, what is this thing? A chicken? An owl? I can't fully tell. The snake is wrapped around over here. Hey, iguana, and there's the puppy. There's a professor. Uh, okay, so Weasel, natural tumbler, probably from all that Olympic training. I would have a trained weasel in no time, no time at all. I imagine the possibilities. Look at that. He's already resting and dreaming of the future while this one's practicing weasel yoga. See, he's imagining, oh, that the weasel would help him shampoo his hair and would prepare hot fudge sundaes, would drive him around on Sunday afternoons in the country, and then would take a portrait of him like the Parisian artists. Yes, so many possibilities. Best in class, the weasel number one. The weasel would astonish everyone, the star of the class. Weasel, 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 weasel. The kids would cheer and mom and pop would beam with pride. Ah, yes, look at that. The weasel up on top, number one, diploma's got his little hat on, everybody cheering. We love you, weasel. They're throwing hats in the air, confetti, ticker tape parade, and the parents at last accept the wild weasel. But it didn't quite work out that way. This book has a lot of butts in them. But no. Look at this. The weasel was as wild as ever. Apparently, weasel took the dream and then ran around, jumped on the snake, uh, terrorized the dog owner, jumped around, broke the best in class sign, let the butterfly escape, and the bird is thinking about it, and confused the iguana. The oh, rabbit's just doing his own thing up here. And then jumped on top of the professor's head, which I'm pretty sure was not one of the accepted exercises. Hmm. 
I'm sure it'll get better, right? We were the only two who didn't graduate. Oh, it did not get better. Even the snake graduated and the chickeny bird thing and the iguana graduated. And, uh, but not Weasel. Maybe everyone was right. A weasel can't be trained. What if, what if I, what would I hand in for my homework now? Oh no, we haven't gotten a trained weasel and we don't have a book. What would I tell mom and pop? Oh, he is in so much trouble. They're probably gonna tell him he can't have crinkleberries for a whole month or something. I felt so alone. And then I realized I wasn't. Hey, I, I think you guys are pretty nifty. We, we, we both do. Oh, it's the girl from class who had the iguana looking thing. I think it's an iguana. Hey girl, nice to meet you. I wish I knew her name. Should we give her a name? Let's call her Rebecca. Hey Rebecca. Really? They did? I, I thought they were pretty nifty too. And what if she was right? Maybe the wheel was just fine the way he was. <gasps> Maybe we both were. Perhaps the weasel had learned nothing that day but I did. How many other kids had such a remarkable pet? So, so what if the weasel couldn't do the same silly tricks as every other animal? He was magnificent and wonderfully wild. That night I started writing and I couldn't stop. Oh, remarkable, magnificent. This kid has an incredible, remarkable vocabulary that I just love. The next morning, I turned in a loving tribute to my wild, wild weasel. The teacher, A+, plus, loved it. Great initiative. You taught me a lot about weasels. Wild, wild weasel. A true story. I don't know if mom and pop understood that weasel any better, but I think I made them proud. Ah, oh, look at them. They're holding the A+, plus in their hands. And best of all, I made a friend. Hey, Rebecca. We all did. Oh, and it's Rebecca's iguana, Iggy. I'm gonna call him Iggy. Iggy and Rebecca and the kid and the weasel off in space. Oh, it makes me want to read Once Upon a Weasel now too. Now that I know all about this wild, wild weasel. Well, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it wasn't that bad, right? Anyone? Well, I suppose, but if I had a vote in things, yes, Olivia the ostrich, I would not add a weasel to the puppet collection because, well, frankly, we have enough of our hands full around here with a certain bear. Do you think he's talking about me? Oh, um, well, maybe. <laughs> okay, well then I hope you enjoyed Wild Wild Weasel. I certainly did. And I'm thinking I'm going to bring a Wild Wild Weasel into the fold. Oh no, Maleficent, please. Not a, we don't, no, we're fine. We're super full. I mean, all of the puppet beds are taken. It's all right. He can sleep in my cauldron. <laughs> I don't think the weasel wants to come after hearing that. See you next time, kid. Have a wild and wonderful day. And remember, be remarkable. See you next time on Kid Time Story Time. And don't forget to press that thing, that thing, that's, that, that thing, that, that, that says to subscribe. That would be cool because we love to have you back anytime. Eh, eh, eh. And don't worry, this is a weasel-free zone. Eh, 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 eh.